For the last three years, we've traded in our G-Zones for imaginary gifts, higher base power on our units and triggers, multiple formats, the introduction of front triggers, and a power creep so bad that it pushed Shira Nui Rene out of relevancy. Well, not entirely, but you get where I'm going. But this, as we all know, when a character in, in, in any anime has gone down a dark path such as Bushiroad has went with Vanguard, we know that there's around the corner. Am I comparing Bushiro's potential redemption arc to the likes of Vegeta, Endeavor, Prince Zuka, or even Scar from Full Metal Alchemist? No. Not yet, at least. Did Bushiroad start out with an amazing game? Yes. We all seen it. There was promise. There were also some choices that, arguably, misguided as they were, that brought us to where we are today. Probably. Could you smashing that subscribe button give you a 100% chance to see great deck profiles, matches, and podcasts? Hell yeah. One of the more appealing points that has that's came from this reboot is definitely a, an affordable entry point with Trial Decks being at 4 to $6. I mean, 4 to $6, what's that? That's just like... Food from McDonald's. It's lunch at McDonald's. You could get that for right, for that right there. And if you could throw that away once a day, you can give up one of those meals just for a trial deck to see if you like it. Um, so if you are on the fence on playing new standard format, you don't have to worry. You get everything that you need. You get perfect guards. You get a set of four of every card that's needed inside the deck. No longer are the days where we have to pay eighteen to twenty four dollars, depending on your local game store. Uh, for a trial deck for, that you need at least two of. So, yeah. I mean, 4 to $6 for all of that? Sure, sign me up. I mean, because, you know, back in my day, trial decks when we started were $20. We got no PGs. And we had to buy four. So that was at least $80 around that to, around that point. 80 to 60 to $80. Where you could just spend, again, 4 to $6. And then when in the G era, it made it a little bit easier because they started giving us things in twos, but they would give us like later on, you know, perfect guards that were grade ones, even though grade zero draw perfect guards were the thing. Uh, still, they gave us something. They gave budget players something. So yeah, definitely if you're thinking of playing or if you're on the fence, go ahead. At least if not for any of the other things that I'm going to be talking about later, try it out for the four to six dollar trial decks. Because what's the worst that happens? You spend 4 to $6, then you don't like it, you give it to a friend. One thing that a lot of players will agree on is that waiting for your favorite one of 24 playable clans a year to get support was kind of a buzzkill if, if you didn't have the, uh, the surname of Paladin or you weren't an Overlord clan, meaning Kagero. Uh, or if you weren't Link Joker during that one period of time where Link Joker got three sets back to back to back of support. And then you're just, or you just had a clan that wasn't focused on in the anime because it wasn't relevant to the plot. Hello, Leon Soryu. <clears throat> but now that we are in a, a color system similar to Magic, Bushy Road has already came out and said every, every nation uh, now is going to have support in each set. And it's going to be able to focus on at least two decks. One, for, for set one, is going to be supporting the trial decks that are coming out. And then the second deck that's going to be there is going to be supporting a sub-archetype of some sort. So, hey, I mean, there's that to look forward to. You don't have to go, like, either the beginning or the end of the format or even the middle of the format where the mechanic that's currently in place is either brand new and fresh and you're destroying all of the old decks from the old mechanic or you don't have to worry about being in the middle where it's stale and it's kind of like dry where the old decks that just came out are still like the superior decks and you don't have to worry about being the overpowered decks that come out at the end where you're about to get phased out and then replaced with a new mechanic 
everybody's getting support at the same time and it feels good to actually say that i don't have to wait or i don't have to hear any of my friends talking about oh you only beat me because you got support last month i haven't had support in over a year so i mean that's also good so if you're worried about like retention of your clan or relevancy of your clan every clan is going to get support every set so you're not going to have to worry about that from the limited amount of information though uh, from what we have seen is that each clan will have a unique way to overdress uh, for dragon empire or should i say overlord empire according to their over trigger uh, they're going to have, you know, the grade zero and you call a grade one over it, but you have to normal call it. So normal calling rules apply. Um, but it looks like every other clan, because the the list for each clan or each start deck or trial deck has been leaked. It's over on Reddit. I'll probably leave a description or a link in the description below so you can see the list. But it doesn't seem like any other clan has another grade zero that's outside of the starter and the triggers. So, it really is, you know, worth looking into at least to see what the clan's gimmicks are, or I'm sorry, the nation's gimmicks are for overdress, because I think not having everything have the same exact identical thing makes it a lot better. It brings it back to the earlier days of Vanguard, like, yes, everybody had Limit Break, but they had different things that they did at Limit Break. But now this is just like saying, okay, everybody has Limit Break, but your limit break is different from their limit break. You do it this way, they do it that way. I think it's at least worth checking out just because of one, support every month. Two, cheap entry price. Three, a lot of the art looks really badass. And on top of that, we have Megumi. So, uh, Stoikea boys here. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like, that subscribe button. And uh, whenever you are, wherever you are, Thanks for watching.